Hi, Mark Gordon. Uh, Thursday, December the 1st, 2011 with your gold, silver, and spiders report. This is the GLD, the gold ETF, up about a quarter percent right now, uh, sitting right on this red line, um, which is the 21-day moving average. Uh, we are above the blue line here, which is the 50-day moving average, a good sign. We're also above the 100-day moving average, this green dotted line. Um, you notice that the 50-day moving average is sloping down, um, maybe starting to flatten out here. Uh, the 21-day uh, is starting to slope up. <clears throat> we are caught in this larger flag formation here. Uh, your next overhead resistance is going to come here at, at about the $171 range here. If we get past that, then it uh, looks like it might be smooth sailing back up here to retest this high at 175.46. And the upper Bollinger Band area might uh, provide some overhead resistance too, and that currently is at about 176.50. So uh, gold making a move here. Uh, volume was not above average. Uh, we did pick up on volume uh, during this big gap up here. Uh, gapped up in the morning and kind of just hung in a tight range, uh, but uh, support so far coming at the 21-day moving average. Let's see what happens. And looking at the big picture of the GLD, this is the weekly chart, and you can see our trend channel that's been in place for quite a long time, still in effect, um, got over this uh, green dotted line, which is a 20-day moving average, and uh, volume uh, is light so far. It is uh, early Thursday, so uh, we could eclipse this volume here uh, from last week. Let's hope so. But um, certainly getting support here at this blue line, the 10-week moving average. Buyers stepped into support. We are at the upper part of this range. So lots of, lots of good-looking things here. Um, uh, this 162.07 might have been a, a short-term bottom here. We may go back up and retest uh, this upper trend line as we did here a few weeks ago. Had our pullback. And now I'll come up maybe back into the $180 range on the GLD. And the index uh, so far this week is up 3.84%. Uh, markets have been strong. The uh, um, money printing coming out of uh, the European uh, sector has certainly helped uh, stocks and precious metals. And moving on now to the silver, this is the SLV, the silver ETF, also about, uh, up about a quarter percent here. Um, finding some overhead resistance, uh, however, at this red line, the 21-day moving average. But we are now above the 50-day moving average, uh, which is a good sign. Uh, that is sloping down uh, at about a 45-degree angle. Uh, so is this gray line, which is the 10-day. The um, and also the 21-day is uh, starting to flatten out a little bit, though. Um, so uh, silver uh, uh, making a bit of an impressive uh, move here. If we close uh, two days above this line, that might send in some buyers here. And then our next uh, point of resistance is going to be um, uh, these highs here and also this uh, uh, upper Bollinger Band here coming in at 34.81. Uh, volume has been uh, a bit tepid, though. Uh, don't like that. But uh, silver may be turning the corner here. Let's see what happens. Moving on now to a weekly chart of the SLV. Uh, we're up about uh, six and a quarter percent this week so far. Uh, silver a lot more volatile than gold. Um, we did fall out of this uh, trading range that we were in for several months and now uh, trying to fight to get back up into it. Um, we are above the uh, uh, blue line here, which is the 10 week, and uh, uh, just above uh, the four week here, this red line here. Um, volume uh, so far has been on the light side. We're uh, early Thursday, so uh, we could could uh, get above average volume here. You never know. Um, we do have a lot of overhead resistance coming in here at about the um, 35 to 36 dollar range, uh, where you have the t uh, 20 and the 40 week moving averages. Um, but you'll notice that the blue line is uh, is flattening out. This is the 10 week, and also starting to turn up a bit. And so is the four week. So short term, um, we're looking good here. Um, we are in the upper end of the trading range. Uh, let's see what happens if we can get back up into this area here. And moving on now to stocks, this is the SPY, the uh, exchange traded fund for the S&P 500. And having a big week so far, two big gap ups here. Um, uh, in yesterday's coming in on some really good volume here. Uh, so um, all in uh, in a week, we got above the 50-day moving average, the blue line. We got above the 100-day moving average, the green dotted line, and we're now above the 21-day moving average, the red line. Coming into overhead resistance, though, here 
at the 200-day moving average. Uh, and uh, we had this uh, triangle formation uh, that formed. We fell out of it, had a rapid pullback here down to the 116.20 level, and then a V bottom straight back up. So very volatile markets, as we all know. It's been a very volatile time. Um, looks like we're getting back into this uh, volatility that we saw uh, earlier in the year here. So coming into a crucial period, uh, may have a little bit of a regroup here uh, at the 200-day moving average, um, maybe a little sideways action, build a little base, and, and uh, see if we can launch above. And looking at a weekly chart of the SPY, uh, we're up about 7% so far this week, so a big week here. Um, last week, we had what we call arrows down. We had a close at the, at the lows of the week. Uh, which is usually a very negative sign, uh, but uh, reverse that, got back up above this blue line, the 10-week moving average. We're back above this green dotted line, the 20-week, and we have had overhead resistance here, cannot get above this 40-week moving average. Um, we are at the upper end of the trading range, uh, seem to be uh, caught in a little bit of overhead resistance here. The next resistance will come in at this uh, um, uh, trend channel line here uh, coming across the tops here at about the $127.50 level. So um, may, uh, may uh, have a little bit of a regroup here uh, like we uh, showed on the daily chart here uh, at the 40-week moving average. Um, <clears throat> pick up in volume though uh, this week on this up move, so good sign here. Still below average volume, however, but volatility uh, is uh, the order of the day here uh, this week. So S&P 500 making an impressive move, um, but uh, coming up into overhead resistance and may run out of gas here and stall or come back down. We just don't know. And uh, as of this morning, uh, IBD, Investors Business Daily, uh, is still calling markets in a correction even after this big week. So um, very volatile trading, hard to make money in these type of markets, very, um, you know, very whipsaw type markets. So um, be careful out there.